I can't see anything. It's so bright out here. Hello, people of YouTube. Today, I've got the Mavic Air. wanted to do was to make a bunch of videos showing you guys the flight distance you can get with this compared to the Mavic Pro. I wanted to show you a bunch of other characteristics with this drone compared to the Mavic Pro, but I've got a dud. If any of you have been following me for any length of time, you'll know when I got my original Mavic Pro, Ooh, I was I'm so, excited. so okay. excited, yet I got a dud. The camera on mine and the gimbal on the original Mavic Pro was totally shot and I had to deal with DJI customer service for months going back and forth to get the situation corrected. Well, the same thing's happening with this. My controller that came with this just started beeping nonstop for hours. Customer support had no idea what was going on. They didn't know how to stop it. They wouldn't let me take a hammer to it. The whole thing was a total and complete mess. After I figured out how to actually stop the beeping. If I push the record button and this new action button over here, they stop. Customer support then told me that they would do a expedited return for my money back. Living here in the mountains will make it so much easier for me to pack this in a bag or in my pocket and bring the controller and do some flying, especially this summer when I start hiking quite a bit more. That was my main thing that I wanted with this. Woo! I was really concerned about it not having OcuSync versus Wi-Fi because my old drone, hey, dog. My old drone, the Blade Chroma, had Wi-Fi connection and I could go about 1,100 feet, maybe 1,600 feet away prior to losing video feed signal. From what I understand on this, you can get about two miles and I have a bunch of buddies who have tested it. So that's, that's pretty good for Wi-Fi. That's actually pretty amazing for Wi-Fi. And I'm just so bummed because I really wanted to do so many tests with this and share those. Let me explain what happened. The controller was beeping. I got that to stop. The battery charger that came with this doesn't work. I cannot recharge the battery on the Mavic Air. So now that I got the controller to stop beeping on my own without any help from customer support, there is no way for me to actually charge the battery to see if I can get everything to resync properly or not. I did have about five minutes of battery with the Mavic Air and my phone as a Wi-Fi connection to try and make things work. And it did seem like it would be a really fun drone to fly. Let me interrupt for a second. First, the Mavic Air is not trash. It's a great drone. Mine is just trash. Back to what I was saying. The problem I have now is that customer support, thank you DJI once again for sticking it up my butt with no lube, has promised me an expedited case. So Wednesday, the 31st of January, when this showed up, I was stoked. If you haven't seen it yet, I have a real-time video of that day right there. Go take a look at it. It's very thorough, very thorough uh, comparison and unboxing of this. So I got this on the 31st of January, and it is now a week later, February 7th. That night on the 31st, immediately I called DJI and let him know about the power bank not charging, as well as the beeping. No one had any clue how to make that stop. They said nothing about the charger not charging. You know, I tested every wire. I went back and forth with my Mavic Pro accessories. The actual charging bank does not charge. So it's a dud. Shit happens. I'm just that lucky guy that it always happens too. As I spoke with DJI customer support, really Crow? As I spoke to customer support, I was going to see if they would do an even exchange. They said it would be two to three weeks prior to getting a new one. Now I just dropped $800 on this thing and in my opinion, dealing with the public, I didn't think that was a good answer. It shouldn't take that long to do a return. Hello puppy. What I wanted them to do since they have my credit card on file was to go ahead and ship me out another one and I would return this one. They would cross streams in the mail. I would get the new one in two or three days. They would get this one in two or three days. Everybody's happy. If they got a box full of rocks, they charge me for a second one. It's that easy. They wouldn't agree to do that, and they said it would be two to three weeks. Unacceptable. So I just said, hey, how long does it take to get your money back? 
and they said it would take about four days. They would expedite my case so that the next morning, that would be Thursday, February 1st, I would get a shipping label, I would stick it in the mail, they would get it in two or three days, and a few days after that, I would get my money back. It's been a week, and nothing happened. I never got that shipping label, I never got anything else, I've jumped on different um, online forums to try to get in touch with customer support again, and nothing happened until yesterday. Now yesterday, someone called me from DJI, and it wasn't anyone really higher up, it wasn't the guy I spoke to before. Uh, his name will be withheld since I told him I wouldn't say his name. A year ago with the Maverick Pro, I'm still not saying it. And if you see this, you know who you are. Give me a call. Let's get this situated. So the gentleman called me last night. He asked me what he could do to not have to do a refund if he could do something to make me happy. That's good customer support right there. It should have been done a week ago, but that's what they should be doing. So I told him part of what I use these for is for reviews, for videos, for you guys. You know, if you're not subscribed to my channel, take a second and go look through a few of these videos. Remember to click like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon right over there. Thanks. So getting this weeks later really wasn't going to benefit me very much until this summer. And now with rumors of the Mavic 2 coming out in March, or at least being announced in March, I thought just getting my money back and getting that one might be the better answer for me at the moment. On the phone with this gentleman, he asked me what can he do for me. And I said, well, one, since you've taken now a week to even just contact me to try to make this right, we can do an even exchange, ship me out a couple of extra batteries. That would go a long way for myself and it would show my viewers as well. When push comes to shove, DJI is a company that does seem to care about their customers and making them happy. If that's not the case, maybe just do a full refund like I originally asked a week ago. The problem I have with that is I bought half this on DJI credits. You know the links in my description when they say, hey, check out this drone. Those are affiliate links for DJI. So if you buy a product through those links, I get a very small portion of that. And when I say small, it's small, but adds up and it does help me with my channel. What I do is I use that money to buy new product so that I can review them for you guys. So I had about $400 in DJI credits over the last year. Like I said, it's not very much. So the other 400 was cash that I used, but two, I really want to compare it to the Mavic Pro. I wanted to make videos and I wanted to help other people. That's not really possible for me right now because again, this is an $800 paperweight. The third option was to hang on to that $800 and apply it towards the Mavic 2 Pro. He would not confirm or deny if there was such a thing. However, he did say he would take those three options, speak to his higher up, and call me back today, February 7th. This morning, I got a return label with no mention of what of those three options are we doing? No phone call, no anything. So I have no clue if I send this back, if I'll get money back, if I'll get a partial bit of money back, if I'll get 400 towards credit, 400 towards cash, if I'll get no money at all and just sit there for the Mavic 2, or if I'll get a product with a couple extra batteries. So at this point, pretty much all I can do is once again reach out to them to try to find out what we're doing, where this is going, and uh, hopefully we'll get this situated because I would love to have one that works. I'm not having any faith in DJI right now. The only option I have is to deal with these people online who don't seem to know what they're doing. They couldn't even make the remote stop. If I push the record button and this new action button over here, they stop. I made the remote stop. I wish I had more to say about this right now, but I just really wanted to sum you up where I'm at, what's going on, and hopefully DJI will uh, help me decide if this is trash or not. I was gonna post this video last week. It is now February 14th. I still do not have a resolution to getting this Mavic Air back to DJI and my money back in my hands. The Air is not trash. If you have a working one, it's a great drone. The camera on it is definitely better. The range on it for Wi-Fi is exceptional. And it's a fun little drone to fly. I have a few buddies that have them. They've had nothing but good things to say about it. I've called DJI multiple times since the earlier part of this video was made on February 7th, which was a week after to the first time I contacted them about getting my money back. So earlier in the video, you had heard me talk about three options of either returning the Mavic, getting my money back, exchanging it uh, for the same product, possibly throwing in a couple batteries. I really didn't care about that. I really just wanted my money back. He asked me what he could do to not give me my money back so I threw out those options. 100% decided I'm waiting for a refund however I'm not gonna just throw away $400 in DJI credit. The credits are something that I've built up over a year they're something I don't really push they're in my links in the description I might stop using them completely I think an Amazon link because 
I think Amazon has a much better return policy or a link to maybe droneworks.com. It's another company that works with drones that has a great return policy. I have to give a huge shout out to them. When this first happened, Zach over at Droneworks actually contacted me and offered to send me a battery charger that worked for free, no charge, just to help me out. Just because I was having such an issue with DJI, it speaks volumes for their company to have somebody that's a stranger to me to reach out to try and help me not be so frustrated with the situation. Mad props to you for that. If any of you guys are looking for drone stuff, go check them out. I'll put a link in the description for those guys. That's the least I can do for him offering to help out. Where I'm standing right now is I've gone back and forth playing phone tag over the last week just trying to get an email confirmation from somebody at DJI so I have a written record of them saying I will get a full refund of my cash and DJI credits. So I can at least use those credits to get maybe the new Osmo or if the uh, Mavic 2 Pro does get announced next month, I can use it for that or whatever. More batteries for my Mavic Pro. Last night I played phone tag and finally spoke with someone. I think his name might have been Jeff, or so he said. He said, yes, I will get DJI credit back, and I will get my cash back, and he will send me an email out last night so that this morning I can go ahead and box up my Mavic Air and finally get it in the mail and get this refund process started so it doesn't take an entire month just to get my money back. That email never came. This morning there was still no email, so I called again and spoke with someone. She had no idea what was going on. She would contact the supervisors and have them reach out to me. One to two hours, she said. It's now been about four hours and I've heard nothing. Mavic Air sits there, boxed up, waiting to go. Just waiting. Do I put my faith in the fact that just one guy out of like 10 said that I'd get my money back and my DJI credits back? Or do I wait for that confirmation email so at least I have a paper trail so if I don't get all of that money back and all of those credits back, I have somewhere to begin. My gut says wait for the paper trail. My frustration wants me to just send it back and be done with this and, and hope, keep my fingers crossed that they don't screw me. But that's where I'm at. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Thank you for watching this entire video. I know it was boring as hell compared to my other videos. Please take some time, search around my channel. If you're a Mavic Pro owner, I have lots of tutorials. You can check here, there's a few right there. And I hope to make a lot more with the Mavic Pro. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of other tutorials and other products and reviews that I have in the works coming this spring. So you might want to stay tuned for that. I apologize to whoever thinks my last video about the situation was nothing but negative. It wasn't. I was never mad at the guy on the phone. As I told him, if you actually watched the video, I apologize to him if I was coming off that way. I was frustrated. I fixed the problem myself, but it still left my Mavic Air completely bricked and unusable. Because of that, I am opting for a full refund and I'm going to wait and see if the Mavic Pro 2 is real or just a rumor. That being said, I'm gonna cut this short. If anyone wants to hear a final update on this, if I get my money back, when I get my money back, how long it takes, and what else I have to deal with with customer support, let me know in the comments and I will make a third video about that. Otherwise, this will be my last video regarding this subject. Thanks everyone, have a great Valentine's Day, and I'll see you next time.